streaming on Twitch. People got mad because I stole bro thumbnail. I'm, I'm going to do it again. I'm not spending 15 minutes on, on one thumbnail. I don't have Photoshop on this computer, bro. On my laptop, I do. Now, I was being lazy. So, at be this point, again. it has been almost six years since the whole influencer boxing thing was really at its inception, with Logan Paul fighting KSI right then, and his little brother Jake beating up on Deji. Since then, most of these guys have done these boxing events as more of a side gig, where they really lock in for a couple of months Logan, in anticipation the, of the event. I hear in WrestleMania, but for the most no. part, are still mainly focused on their brands or their business, One or really being more of an like influencer. Medicine. But a couple of these YouTubers have leaned all the way into the boxing lifestyle, like this dude Salt Poppy, Gib, and most infamously, Jake Paul. And all I wanted to do was give y'all a knockout a before Christmas. And for a while, it was great to see him bounce these dudes off the canvas. Rig, 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 all over. But after the Tommy Fury fight, the excitement just has not been there, as Jake had now been defeated Is he a real and boxer? his haters had their quench for his failure met. Since then, he has beat up on and knocked people Who's out, that? but there was really no buzz <coughs> behind those events. Excuse me. Most recently, he fought this last weekend, and no one cared or really even knew what was going on in the first place. In his defense, he was Terrible the co-main promotion. event here, at least he was supposed to be. His friend Amanda Serrano was supposed to be Serrano. the real main event, seeing that she is from Puerto Rico herself, <coughs> where the entire thing went down. But she had some sort of issue with her eye at the very last second Yo, uh, and had to scratch herself out. So you, you got red eye. You got, I say red eye. You got pink eye. You got pink eye and you can't fight. That's what it is. I mean, it's only pink eye. It's only pink eye. You got eye drops. Your eye irritating. Irritating you. You can fight. That, that's being soft. So in turn, Jake became the real main event, and in the end, he got the TKO against this dude who looked like he could be your accountant. In all reality, he was a good boxer back in the day. His name is Ryan Borland, and he, he fought a 50 year old man. Used to be a gold glove winner, but he's now 35, 35. and has only fought once in the last six How old years. Is, um, which one is this? Apparently, Jake? completely changing his Jake, occupation what, during that time span. 30? Now, before the fight, they had apparently ran this little news story on Ryan Borland. Borland is originally from the Bay Area of California, but decided okay. to come out to North Dakota five years ago to work in the oil industry. I'm happy to get in. I'm taking it really, really serious. Fight is never so really he actually worked a real job. Fight. He worked a real um, job. I'm always in shape and I'm always ready to fight. Now, obviously, in shape people is crazy. Are not that, that's not in shape. You got to drop weight to fight Jake. Not exactly impressed with this training footage. I mean, I'm not saying he was like neon on the pads, but it's pretty clear this man is Christ far so past this. his prime. So, of course, a lot of somebody put Jake, uh, what's his name? The white boy, Jack Doherty, put him in the ring. I gotta see him. I gotta see him get beat up. I'll hop in the ring. I'll do it, bro. So dirty. I'm not gonna lie to you. My people are asleep. I gotta be quiet. I, boy, I gotta see somebody hit him. People Got came to. in saying, Well, when is Jake gonna fight a real boxer? But you did have some people defending him like this man who says, I don't like Jake Paul at all, but the level of competition he's fighting is normal for 90% of boxers starting out. Y'all know this, but just hate him so much to admit it. And even in watching fighting, the promotion for this fight, looking back, you can see why it pretty much had no hype and why no one knew about this because none of these clips went viral at all. Jake brought back the whole gotcha hat bit that he had done to Floyd Mayweather. No love lost here between these two. Cruiserweight fight. Once again. That's it. I mean, Jake that's Floyd, Paul though. That's going to that's get me. I don't views. know how I feel about hat thief or really taking snuck someone's him. hat off their head. I just find it to be very disrespectful. Jake, you should have snuck him. You should have just snuck him. That would have got, got you some views. You know what I'm saying? A little... Just a little graze. That would have got that would have got you some views, some cool promotion for your little vid. I said vid for the little bo boxing match. I'm telling you, you don't touch another man's hat. He even tried to troll him in his name before the event. I have a question. Like, what is the Rhino? Like, how did you come up with that nickname? You know what? Uh, My grandpa gave yeah. me when I was younger. Awkward. I mean, you bring out the grandpa story, and it's really all over. What did like you say? someone's looking to, and you bring out the grandpa. My grandpa gave it to me when I was younger. Awkward. I mean, you bring out the grandpa story and it's really all over. Like someone's looking to make fun of you about something and they end up just looking like a serious asshole. Are you I need this. Like rhinos? There's a little suitcase right here. I need that. tough and strong as a kid, so my grandpa gave it to me. That's what's up, bro. Congrats. Fire nickname. Do you realize that rhinos are land animals? 
So yes, the promotional material Terrible. for this fight was like putting some completely mild sauce on Terrible. some chips. Just get that shit out of here. It ain't spicy enough. Still, Jake tried to get the crowd hyped. Fuck the rhino. Tired of these ain't nobody in the background. Walking around this motherfucking island. Tomorrow, the rhinos are going extinct. I mean, Corny. Jake Paul might That's be terrible. the first influencer to get CTE. And like I said, this thing was over before it started. That's Nico. The entire fight with last. That's Nico. Hey, Jamora. Jamora, my boy. Hey, that's Nico. That is Nico. Sneeko fought a uh, Strickland. I don't forgot bro first name. I ain't gonna lie to you. Yeah, boy, he got done dirty. Around two and a half minutes with Jake getting the win at the end of the first. I don't round. know why they keep promoting this either. Better. Go to bed, bro. Go to sleep. Like, like it might have looked like he dominated him cold. on paper because the guy wasn't really punching back, but he was pretty much an immobile. He got better on his on his shorts too. Better is not like that. It's not. They trying to replace prize picks, man. Target and Jake was still missing a lot of his <laughs> punches. Here's an alternate angle of the end of this fight. I feel the same way, Happy Johnson. Great shots. I mean, Keenan honestly, swinging. the Rhino really had no business going into there in the first place. He's a worker. But shout out to him, he man. Working, he he work. What what they say he do? Oil company? He do work somewhere out there? He work. Yeah. Bro, that's what he do. He don't fight. He don't fight at all. Just look at him. He ain't swing one time. Went in there. He took the beat down and he collected what was very likely a very nice check. Yeah, I, mean, I do I'm the same not thing. saying I wouldn't trust this dude in like I'll a bar fight. Thing. But if you show up to fight someone who has been training for the last six years, who is ten years younger than you. You're probably going to get the beats. Some people commented how in the post-fight interview, Jake sounded pretty f***ed up. Yeah, man, you know, I just uh, like to meditate and breathe. Realistically, nothing can stop me here. You don't not meditate. Even, not even a rhino. I mean, he looks like he's about ready to give that man Ariel a smooch on the lips. And honestly, if anyone truly has CTE here, it might be this guy, Ryan. I'll be rooting for you the rest Thank of your career, you, bro. Man. I really appreciate yeah. that. Yeah. We'll be this is after the too, fight. Hey, we'll bring, man, bring in for training for his next fight, huh? Hey, sounds <laughs> good. Sounds good. Appreciate it. Yeah, he sounds drunk. Yeah. He sound drunk. He sound drunk. I ain't gonna lie. I'm not dapping up nobody after I lose a fight. I don't care. I don't care. I just lost to you. I'm not dapping you up. Don't talk to me. I was like, we can touch gloves, shout out but to don't this talk man to me. Ryan, bro. He really does seem like a good guy. Of course, Dylan Dan has had to step in to try and give his two cents. He says there's someone in Puerto Rico right now wondering why their Uber driver is taking so long. Dean and just to me, it's him. just like, dude, Dylan, at this point, just get the f*** off the internet. He Dean keeps trying to him. come back, okay? It's like his well, pass Logan? has been revoked. He can't get in. He had his chance at redemption. He had his chance to yeah. go on and continue yeah. fighting and be taken seriously as a up. competitor. And he completely blew it. This guy made a complete ass of himself. So to me, it's like, Dylan, no one wants to hear from you, bro. Mm -hmm. I'm glad that Dana White isn't giving you the time of day. He's gatekeeping you from the UFC. And I find that hilarious. And for the most Listen. part, people were unimpressed by this win. Jake Paul was always destined to win this fight and you are the suckers if you paid for this fight and i know most yeah. people didn't he is disrespecting yeah. the sport you know who he talking to he talking to people like me and probably you too you know what i'm saying hey we got our we got our little our plugs bro we got our plugs man boxing he's disrespecting all the people that work the way up but more importantly he's conning the fans and here's where things start to go a bit off the rails you have Ryan Garcia, who has already been spiraling for the greater mm -hmm. part of the last year, ever since he lost to Tank Davis. I a seen, lot of people suspected Somebody that, said uh, he was drunk. He was drunk in one of those matches. He had to drop down and wait to fight, to fight somebody. He was drunk in one of them. Then he had to drop down and wait a lot of weight just to fight somebody else too. This man is now using, if you know what I mean, and I'm not talking about steroids. He's on that Oscar De La Hoya treatment. And he's trying to start beef with Jake now. He says, I can't take this shit no more. Yeah, and then he even left him like a little voicemail. I can't. I can't do this shit. I feel so f***ing bad for introducing Jake Paul to boxing. I f***ed up. I can't let, allow this to happen. I can't. I can't. Ain't you on a losing streak? Disrespecting my sport. He disrespecting everything. Your sport? I just, I don't know. You're a loser. Call my team, Jake. And a lot of people were surprised to hear this statement coming from him. I mean, the guy has been posting some pretty deranged shit onto social media the last couple of months. Like, I'm pretty sure he got divorced one day after his wife gave birth. But Grace regardless, us. him and Jake used oh to be really buddy-buddy. 
and now he's putting this message out to the world. Ryan, your girl took your money, Ryan. You mad, you sad, something's going on with you. You snorting, what you doing? Like, yeah, f you. And this was Jake's response to that voice memo. He's doing it off some cocaina. <laughs> <laughs> that boy is getting that shit straight from Colombia or something. Ryan, I love you, you know that, bro, but you gotta chill out, bro. Cause like, there's a line and people, you, you just seem like you're losing your mind and- I believe you know something, I'm thirsty saying. and desperate and saying you're a billionaire when you had one money fight. If you do want to fight, that's, to me, light work. You got no footwork. And as long as you've been in the game, I'm a better boxer than you. Oh, now, my I will goodness. say, that would probably be one fight that would actually- That would, you would make bread off that? This fight was gonna be better than uh, that last one. Though The last one, I don't even know who he fought last. The Nate Robinson fight too. To draw a lot of interest if Jake Paul could actually fight Ryan Garcia. That would be something that a lot of people would tune into. Mm -hmm. And apparently they even FaceTime during this post fight press conference. What's up? What you gotta say? Fuck you. You bitch, I'll beat your ass, you know that. It's already being recorded, bro. You know how we do it. You lightweight. You lightweight. You're, I thought you had baby mamas to suck your <laughs> I thought you had all those baby mamas to suck your dick. I know. It's a crazy size difference. It is. I got Jake. You know what I'm saying? They better put it on prize picks. I got Jake, too. You, a bitch. you little, bro. You got no balls. No balls. No I'm a Jake way. I'm gonna he just said 180. I wouldn't be surprised if you put your balls on the internet right now, brother. You're no balls. I'm gonna put you back on the canvas like tank this. You need help. You need help. Ryan, you need help. Oh my goodness, you need help. You gonna show another man yo yeah yeah your kahunas. What is wrong with you? Something's wrong with you. I wouldn't be surprised you need if help. you put your balls on the internet right now, brother. You're losing it. <laughs> oh, bro, <laughs> he hung up. He tried, he tried. I mean, hey guys, when Jake Paul, of all people, is out here cooking you, you yeah. must be in a pretty bad place in you life. You gotta give up. I mean, in general, Ryan Just Garcia go really down. does need to chill out. I'm thinking about making a video on him and all of his very strange social media postings and- This might be curtains. That, that's what I say, in it? This might be- but I don't, hey, I, his handwriting is terrible. Interviews he's done recently in the next couple of days. So y'all let me know if y'all are interested in that. But it does seem like the dude could be on the verge of pulling a Oscar De La Hoya. Only with like a very small amount of the success that Oscar ever had. And of course you have people out there who think this has all just been building for a very long time. As old clips like this have resurfaced. And people have suspected that the two men are just basically in on it together. Sign the contract. Bro. No, contract. no, sign the contract. Oscar's your daddy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oscar's your I'm daddy. Your daddy. I'm yeah, your daddy. Yeah, Oscar's your daddy. And I'm your daddy. That's yeah, crazy. Oscar, bro. I'm your daddy. Either way, the poor... Bro, Ryan, you just out here saying some crazy stuff now, huh? You you one of them, huh? You know, switch... You switch sides. In this video is that the whole influencer boxing scene to me is basically dying down by the day. I wouldn't say that. I mean, there is some fights out there He's with some juice left in them. Like if he was to fight KSI or if he was to fight Ryan Garcia or probably several other guys, he could probably get those pay-per-view buys back up. But until he once again fights someone where there's actually a chance where he might get knocked out, I don't think very many people are going to care. Y'all let me know what you guys think about this whole situation problem, down child. below. As <laughs> always, I do want to thank you guys for watching today's video, dropping a like and subscribing. But as you guys know, it's been... But you heard you heard my boy Jamar, and guess what? I'm going to steal this thumbnail probably. Just so I can piss some people off like I always do. I ain't going to lie. Jamar, Jamar content is like that. I should have been watching his vids. I'm on stream. Go ahead, tune into the Twitch. You know what I'm saying? If y'all boys, women new, and dislike the vid, I want them. I want the dislikes. Go ahead and do that too, man. Yes, sir. Come on now.